Assalamu alaikum everyone hope you are doing great and today i'm going to discuss with you one more case study relevant to chapter number 2 and this is as this is for as level economics okay so you're going to appear in october november exam and then this will be really really helpful for you uh, so the case study you can see on the screen right now is uh, relevant to november 2020 paper 2 you can see it on the screen right now and i suggest all of you to just stop the video and you can read this case study so i can show you this case study on the screen and you can take screenshot or you can download this paper as well i will give you this paper in the link as well so this is the entire case study you should read it and then afterwards you can start answering the questions so before moving to the questions i suggest all of you to have a look on this basically graph graph is really really important if any kind of graph or table is given in the case study that a response then you must uh, see this graph in detail this graph basically shows ice cream producer struggle with racket vanilla prices So this is time period from 2000 to 2000 2004 to 2018 and this is uh, the price of vanilla per 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 kg in US dollars and graph clearly shows that initially in 2004 price of vanilla per kg was around 250 dollars this is around 250 and afterwards you can see that it is continuously falling There is, there is sharp fall initially, then again it is falling, but the rate of fall is a little bit low till two thousand nine. So from two thousand four to two thousand nine, prices are continuously falling, and again from two thousand thirteen onward, you can see that there is a sharp rise in prices of vanilla. So what can be generally reasons for the fall in price of certain product, whatever product it is? So the fall in price may be caused by fall in demand for that product or there may be rise in supply of that product these are general reasons right i'm not talking about this case study this case study shows that there is fall in demand for vanilla from 2004 to 2009 um, because of basically the substitute product that is vanillin that was available in the market at cheaper rate so people switched their demand to that thing so demand for vanilla was really really low at this time period and from this 2013 onward the prices of vanilla journey uh, increased basically rapidly and the reason for increase in price we know can be rise in demand or fall in supply of a certain product so there can be two possibilities here as well and in this case demand for vanilla was actually increasing why it was increasing it is written in the case study when you will read it you will easily find what the reason actually is and i can uh, give you a hint for that that, that there were basically uh, health risks uh, of vanillin that was the substitute of vanilla um in this case study the two products are mentioned one was vanilla this is vanilla and then was another product was vanillin that was a synthetic kind of flavor uh, which was used to make ice cream and natural vanilla is also used to make ice cream so these two products were used uh, as a substitute product right a uh, substitute mean they can be used to uh, replace each other if you are using more vanilla to make ice creams then it means you need less vanillin or if you're using more vanillin then you need less vanilla so these are substitutes you can use this or this so after 2013 price of natural vanilla sharply rose because there were some health risks basically identified with associated with vanillin so because this was synthetic this was artificial made in factories made with flavors with chemicals so it was it had more health risks so people when people found that there is that this is more health risky then they again shifted to the natural vanilla okay now moving to the questions and the first question is uh, you can see on the screen right now and the first question is with reference 
to extract and figure 1.1 use supply and demand diagrams to explain the change in price of natural vanilla so you can see from 2004 to 2009 we have already seen that demand for vanilla uh, price of vanilla was falling continuously from 2004 to 2009 so for three marks you have to identify that price of vanilla is falling price is falling and secondly you have to make a graph to explain k why it is falling it is falling because of low demand right when demand falls price definitely falls i can make the graph here i have some space so this is demand curve and this is supply curve for vanilla natural vanilla and this is equilibrium price equilibrium price of vanilla this and due to decrease in demand for natural vanilla demand curve has shifted to the left so equilibrium will move from e to e1 price will fall from p to p1 and quantity will fall from q to q1 so for one mark you have to make graph and for again one more mark you have to explain what is happening in this graph so you have to basically give reading of this graph <coughs> Then from 2015 to 2018, we have already seen in the graph that prices are sharply increasing. Increasing, So you have to identify that price of natural vanilla is increasing. And the reason for rise in price was rise in demand. There were two reasons mentioned in the case study. You will find them uh, if you read, read the basically case study. Uh, in the case study, it is written that... Uh, you can see however in 2012 concerns about possible health risk arising from use of vanillin caused some producers to use more natural vanilla so there were health risks associated with vanillin that was a substitute for natural vanilla so uh, when you know that vanillin is harmful for your health then definitely people will stop buying them and they will move to the natural vanilla Okay, so demand and supply meet each other at this point. So price of vanilla, natural vanilla is this and quantity is this. Now, again, demand for natural vanilla increased. So price also rose from P to P1 and quantity rose from Q to Q1. Okay, so this is uh, what you have to do. You have to identify that price of natural vanilla is increasing because of high demand. And you have to make this graph to show how it is increasing. And then you will have to explain this graph what is showing here. Uh, and for for your convenience i'm showing you how to answer this question you can just take screenshot of this uh this page right you just take screenshot of this page and then you can read it what is written here this is basically the explanation of uh question number one part a sub part one as well as sub part two and furthermore, I also suggest all of you to try to get this book. This is written by me and I have explained each and every question in detail. Uh, it will really, really help you to get prepared for the final examination, not only for October, November, but any kind of CAIEs. Now moving to part B of this question, I will also give you the link of this book in description. Ice cream producers can use natural vanilla or vanillin to produce ice cream. State the concept that economists would use to measure the responsiveness of demand for natural vanilla to a change in price of vanillin. So whenever we, uh, we talk about substitute products, these are substitutes basically, uh, natural vanilla and vanillin are substitutes. Substitutes mean they can be used instead of each other to make ice creams so whenever we study the change in price of one product and impact of uh, change in price of one product on the demand for another product we call it cross elasticity of demand so economists use the concept of cross elasticity of demand to uh, see the responsiveness responsiveness mean ke how quantity demand responds or changes due to change in price of another product. So you have to just identify key. cross elasticity of demand is used to explain this idea. But this is just one mark question. You have to write this. Now coming to part two, explain the value that you would expect for this measurement. So value mean key, what will be the figure or what will be the relationship between vanilla and price of vanilla and demand for natural vanilla. 
we know that in case of substitutes cross elasticity of demand is always always positive positive mean ke if there is fall in price of price of ven vanillin for example vanillin the demand for vanilla will natural vanilla will rise so both variables uh sorry it will fall demand for natural vanilla will fall both variables are moving in the same direction uh why why it is happening because when natural when vanillin is cheaper people will buy more vanillin and there will be less a demand for natural vanilla so uh demand for vanilla will fall when two variables move in up in same direction like one is falling other is also falling that is called positive relationship so because of this positive relationship cross elasticity of demand for um for this basically relationship will be positive and it can be greater than 1 or less than 1 if x e d cross elasticity of demand is greater than plus 1 it means response will be greater a little change in price of nuts uh, vanillin will lead to a greater fall in demand for vanilla if the value is greater than 1 we call it elastic demand and when cross elasticity of demand is less than 1 but sign is positive positive sign is just for relationship and the value less than 1 shows that it is inelastic so if it is inelastic then response will be lesser okay so change in uh, greater change in price of vanillin will lead to smaller change in quantity demand for vanilla okay so i believe you got the idea now moving to part c of this question explain why the price elasticity of demand a uh, price elasticity of supply of ice cream made with vanillin is likely to be relatively more elastic than the price elasticity of supply of ice cream made with natural vanilla so we have to uh, this this question starts with the command word explain so first of all you have to define the main term given here that is price elasticity of supply and price elasticity of supply is the responsiveness of quantity supply of a product to a change in price of the same product and it is calculated as percentage change in quantity supply over percentage change in price so this is delta sign shows change okay so now moving to the next thing what is me meant by more elastic and less elastic more elastic mean a small change in price will lead to greater change in quantity supply and less elastic mean greater change in price will lead to smaller change in quantity supply so you have to define first then you have to define what is elastic and one and one what is inelastic then uh, if you do that you will get two marks for uh, these these definitions and then you will have to basically relate it to the question uh, that is k why uh ice cream made with vanillin will be more elastic vanillin basically comes from reliable sources right from artificial sources made in factories made with chemicals this is synthetic so it supplies more reliable it means ke whenever price increases you can quickly produce them you can run the machine for extra time you can produce them and sell them send them to the market for sale so it means you are more flexible because it comes from uh, uh, basically natural uh, comes from artificial sources that are more reliable but natural vanilla demand price elasticity of supply for natural vanilla will be lesser price elasticity of supply lesser because natural vanilla takes 3 years to produce right if farmers start growing natural vanilla plants then they they take 3 years to basically produce uh, natural vanilla so they cannot be immediately supplied so supply will be relatively inelastic so this is the reason for uh, for this explanation and um i i can also show you the answer for this question you can again take screenshot and just read it Uh, i have explained you but again you can read it here from here as well so part b sub part 1 p part b sub part 2 and then part c all three parts are basically shown on the screen just take screenshot and then afterwards you can read it okay so the last part of this question is last part of this case study is part d 
discuss whether the recent rise in price of vanilla is on balance likely to have a positive or negative impact upon madagascar's economy so this is basically a name of the state okay so whenever there is rise in price of vanilla madagascar is basically producing more vanilla so um, the benefits will be greater for uh, this economy because uh, its export earning initially will rise because of inelastic demand and supply in the short run period of time however in the long run um, demand becomes more elastic so export revenue of madagascar economy may fall so in the short run employment in this industry will also increase so quality of life or standard of living of the farmers that are basically producing this product will also increase and these are some benefits government will also generate more tax revenue employment will rise and quality of life or standard of living will also improve and one important thing when ever you have to basically discuss the impact of something on an economy then consider five economic agents five economic agents five economic agents mean ke the five things that can be affected economy is basically the combination of five economic agents including consumers producers government community and workers so these are the people that are affected by any kind of changes in the economy so if price of vanilla is increasing so you can see how it will affect the consumers consumers of vanilla will be suffering because they will have to pay more prices so this is disadvantage or negative impact producers will be getting more revenue because they are getting higher prices in the short run at least export earning will also rise balance of payment of the country will also improve government will be able to get more tax revenue and government will have to pay less unemployment allowances as well because when people are having jobs in this industry it means that government will not have to pay tax basically unemployment benefits to such people so government expenditure will decrease and similarly uh, like it may uh, result in negative impacts as well for example like i i told you that it will be um, harmful for the consumers because they will have to pay more prices and similarly in the long run it may affect your uh, demand for exports as well because your trading partner country will not prefer to find alternative products and they will search for other countries that are producing um, such things at relatively low prices so demand may be shifted to those goods and at then you will have to give a uh, conclusion of your discussion so whenever question starts with the keyword discuss it means you you will have to give points for points against and then conclusion so the answer of question number 1 part d is showing on the screen you can again take screenshot of this question this answer and then read it carefully and again uh, i will give you the link of this book in description this book contains a lot of case studies and long questions topically arranged and every question has been completely answered so this is published till june 2021 and it will uh, uh, i basically continue improving it i continue uh, publishing new papers every year when they basically come to in our custody so this is it or i will also give you the link of this book in description you try, you can try to get it if you can it is also available in almost all leading bookstores in pakistan as well so you can buy it from amazon as well thank you so much allah hafiz